What's up, everybody? Cyber Mentor here, coming to you from quarantine, hoping everybody is staying safe and doing well. So today, I wanted to talk about the one resource that you will utilize more than anything else in your career. And I feel like a lot of people aren't utilizing it very well. And if there's a small spoiler alert, it's what's already on the screen here. We've got Google, right? And so I'm, I'm here to show you the Google machine. So I get a lot of questions uh, that I think are Googleable, And I think that as a job skill, not just in cybersecurity, but cybersecurity is a good example. As a job skill, Google can literally pay for your career. Uh, when I was in help desk, Google, hands down, Google answered 90% of the questions that I had. Uh, the other 10% I learned previously and knew from Google. Uh, now, when I'm a pen tester doing this stuff, it doesn't change. I Google all the time. So I'm going to show you some tips and tricks on how to Google, and then we can hopefully take it from there, and you can learn a lot about um, what to look for and how to utilize this as a resource. So I'm going to come off the screen, and let's take a look at Google. So let's say, for example, that I'm really interested in cybersecurity, but I don't know where to start. What if I say how to get started in cybersecurity? Now you might get a lot of fluffy kind of ads. Look at these ads. SANS is a good resource, but do you know SANS? Maybe not. And your best practice might be to just open these in a new tab and say, okay, maybe I need to check it out. So maybe we'll open this one in a new tab or we'll open this video here in a new tab and we're gonna start just kind of looking at it. Now there's a bunch of different resources here in 2019, 2018, okay. I Maybe I want it to be current. So we can go to the settings or the tools and we could say, hey, I want this within the last year because at least I know that's gonna be current, right? So we can do that. And look, here's a video from DC CyberSec from January 30th, 2020. Uh, here's another video from April 21st, 2019. These are a lot newer and these are more hopefully up to date. So let's open this one, for example, and I'm gonna come out of full screen here. And let's look at this SANS one. So we got an article here. Maybe it has good information in it, maybe it doesn't. It says, hey, you need to know coding, systems, applications, networking. That's a good start, okay? Um, and then we have these videos here. Let me go ahead and just pause this. What I like to look at is I like to look at the number of views, and I like to look at how many likes this has. What's the like to dislike ratio? If it's got a high dislike ratio, uh, I'm probably not going to want to watch it. 57 minutes, maybe I don't have that kind of attention span either. Uh, maybe I only want to watch for 10, 15 minutes. Well, there is a 10 minute video here. And hey, nice cat in the background. I dig that. Uh, 704 to 22, not bad either. Okay, so uh, something worth looking at. But let's say you're an article type person and you want to go back and you say, okay, well, uh, there's Python in here and systems. Oh, I need to learn Linux. How, okay, I want to get into cybersecurity and now I need to know Linux. Well, how am I going to learn Linux? Um, how about best places to learn Linux? Now, I'm going to go ahead and add something that I love to add, and that's just saying Reddit, okay? And it says, any beginner-friendly resources to learn Linux? Let's open that one. Let's even take off the past year because Linux, yeah, it changes, but, you know, uh, a lot of the fundamentals are still the same. So let's open a couple. Any beginner friendly resources in Linux? Let's scroll through here. We can view the entire discussion. Look, linuxjourney.com, this is what you want, and it's free. Okay, let me go take a look at this real quick. And you can just start diving down this rabbit hole. And look, here's it getting started. You click on it, it tells you about it, uh, it tells you about all the different types of Linux. This is really cool. And this is a free resource that I found in five minutes. So, from wanting to know how to get into cybersecurity, I found an article said, hey, you need to know Linux. From there, I did another Google search and said, hey, what are some good resources? And I found linuxjourney.com. That was two Google searches away. Really didn't take that long. So depending on the type of learner that you are, this might be how you have to go. And this is really it. This is just a, a quick video. And this is a five minute video. I'm looking at the time right now. Five minutes to change the rest of your life. OK, again, I would not be anywhere near successful in my career if I did not know how to Google. And I see so many people coming to me, asking me questions that could be answered in seconds on Google, but they'll wait hours for a response for me. I'm not Google. I'm no better than Google. Google's way better than me. 
So please keep that in mind when you're approaching other people and you want to ask questions or you need help. Go to Google first. Do your due diligence. If you cannot find the answer, then ask others. I guarantee you that your answer is 90% likely on Google, if not higher than that. So utilize it as a resource. It is absolutely your best friend. It's the number one resource in cybersecurity, in IT, in anything. I would argue with anybody about that one. So that's it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit a like, subscribe, and comment down below. Until next time, my name is The Cyber Mentor, and I will catch you later.